Hey guys, welcome to Season with Love. Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. Y'all, today we making a coffee cake, y'all. My husband went to go get me a cup of decaf iced coffee and forgot my coffee cake. I was like, you know what? Ain't nothing stopping me from making one myself. Why I keep buying this coffee cake? So now I'm in the kitchen, about to make a coffee cake for you guys right here on Season with Love, y'all. It's a simple recipe. We're gonna put it together real quick. So y'all, without further ado, let's go over these ingredients, okay? First thing we're gonna need is a couple of eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs, okay? So we have two eggs. This recipe calls for a lot of butter. You're gonna need two sticks of butter. But some is for the cake and some is for the streusel topping, okay? Cause this, this, this is a coffee cake. Of course it has a streusel topping. So we have sour cream. Instead of milk, we're using sour cream. We have baking powder. Vanilla extract, salt, nutmeg, cinnamon. I have a cinnamon sugar blend here. I have baking soda. We got some sugar, okay? Brown sugar, I'm gonna put that in there. And of course, all-purpose flour, y'all. That's all you need to get this cake started. And that's for our cake and our streusel topping. So. Let's get this cake together, y'all. Stay tuned on Season with Love. We making coffee cake, y'all. All right, guys. We're going to start with our dry ingredients for our cake mix, our cake batter. You know, in this bowl, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add two. Y'all know my ratio by now when I bake. So two, I have two cups of flour, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. Two level teaspoons of baking powder to my two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. Now I'm also going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. This is going to give us a extra light, fluffy coffee cake. You know how sometimes coffee cake is dense, and uh, yeah, I'm not going for that texture. So I'm I'm adding the baking soda. Okay. Now we're going to go with a half a teaspoon. Of salt okay we're gonna get that in there and that's basically it for our dry ingredients y'all get that mixed up I'm going right in with the measuring spoon y'all know I do not care all right guys so here I have some butter softened butter I'm gonna go in with a half a cup of brown sugar And now this is a half a cup of white sugar. I'm gonna go in with yeah, yeah, a half a cup of each. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. And now I'm gonna cream these two together. Guys, all right, guys, I cream my butter and sugar. Now I'm gonna add in my eggs one at a time and blend it in. All right, we got one egg again. Now I'm gonna I'm cream this in. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in our second egg and I'm gonna cream that in. All right, now I added my sour cream. I'm adding the sour cream in. Okay, one cup of sour cream, you guys. This is gonna add moisture and a delicious, delicious flavor and texture to our cake. Okay, so you get your sour cream in there. Now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract, a whole tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is a half a tablespoon measure, so I'm going to do this two times. Whole tablespoon of vanilla. And a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's right into the cake, okay? 
right into our cake mix. Now I'm gonna blend this up, and I'm gonna get back with you. All right, guys. Now we're just gonna put our wet ingredients, mix it in with the dry. Okay, gonna dump it all in there. It's just the same concept. Don't over beat your cake. Don't over mix it because we don't. We want a light, fluffy, airy cake. Okay. So we're gonna get it all in here. Our wet ingredients mixed in with our dry. Okay, get rid of this. Now we're gonna just get this mixed in right here. Okay. Go on ahead and mix it on in. Okay. Smells incredible. Already, it's not even baked. Okay. And this is perfect, you guys. This is what we're looking for. Our batter to be a nice, thick batter. Okay. Now that our batter is together, we're going to go ahead and make our streusel. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get the cake in the oven first. Let's get the cake in the oven. Then we'll make the strudel top. Right, so I have my pan prepared, my cake pan, that I do a lot of my baking in, this old cast iron skillet here. Well, it's not cast iron, it is iron. <laughs> so, let y'all know, most of my baking videos, this is what I bake in. So I, I prepared it with this butter spray and some real butter, okay? So now I'm gonna add half of my cake mixture into the pan. All right, so I have half of my cake in the pan. So now I'm gonna go in with the uh, cinnamon sugar. And I'm gonna do a layer of that cinnamon sugar. Okay, on our, you know, sprinkle that around generously on the cake, half of the cake mix, okay. Nice, generous amount. I'm going to go in with a little bit of extra cinnamon. Okay. Now I'm going to put the rest of our cake mix right on the top of this. Okay. I like to do dollops to make it easier to spread evenly. So we can keep our cinnamon sugar layer... <laughs> a layer okay so I do dollops and then I connect the dollops hope that makes sense so you just go around and add your cake mm -hmm. all right so I have the cake smoothed out evenly Okay, hopefully we kept our cinnamon layer, a layer, so when we slice it, we have a beautiful thing. So now we're going to get this cake in the oven, and we're going to bake it until a toothpick comes out clean, okay? Now, um, I'm going to put it in there now for 10 minutes before I add the strudel, strudel, strudel topping. Before I add the strudel topping, I'm going to let this bake for 10 minutes. So y'all, I'm going to get this in the oven, and y'all stay tuned. We're about to make that strudel topping. All right, guys, I have a half a cup of flour going in. We're making our streusel topping. I have a half a cup of flour. Okay. Now I'm about to go in with my brown sugar. I'm going to put a half a cup of brown sugar as well, packed. Half a cup of light packed brown sugar. Going in. Sure, I get it packed in there good. One half a cup of packed light brown sugar is going in. Now we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of cinnamon. Two tablespoons of cinnamon. Nope, I'm running low on cinnamon. Have. Well, all the cinnamon that you got. Let's get that all in there. Okay. And 
now I'm going to put just a pinch of salt. Okay. And I'm going in with one whole stick of melted butter. Let me grab a spoon. I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to go in with one whole stick of melted butter, okay? Well, I'm going to pour my butter in gradually, guys, and see. Because I want this to look like a streusel topping. Strudel. Streusel. And now you're going to mix it up. Mm, that's not looking like a strudel. All right, guys. I did um, have to add more flour to my strudel. Strusel topping, my coffee cake topping, okay? Now, I would go with the measurements of uh, one whole cup of flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, and start slowly streaming in your butter until your topping looks like this consistency, okay? I poured my butter all the way in, so I, was, I had to add more flour to get my, my streusel topping to look like this, okay? But there's no mistake not worth correcting, like I tell y'all in the kitchen. Mistakes are made, so you can do better next time, okay? Now, this screw topping looks amazing. We're gonna take out our cake and top our cake and get that back in the oven, okay? Y'all stay tuned on Season with Love. We're making coffee cake, y'all. Okay. All right, guys. I have the cake out the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and top it with the strudel. And you wanna generously sprinkle your strudel around the cake. Okay. So that it can the strudel can bake with the cake okay remember there's raw flour in the strudel so you want it to cook as well and we're going to continue to bake this cake i have the oven i'm sorry you guys i didn't tell you about the oven is on 350 degrees okay so we're going to bake this cake for about if i had to take a guess because, you know, your oven may vary. Start checking it around 40 minutes. Yeah. You want this top to be golden brown and cooked and the cake. Stick a toothpick in. It comes out clean. It's done, okay? Put as much streusel as you want on the top. It's going to bake deliciously with the cake. Give it a little pat down. The cake is still very much raw. Now, I made a lot of strudel because, like I said, my measurements were a little off for my strudel and I had to add extra flour. So, I'm going to go ahead and just layer it on. Okay. You guys have the correct measurements to make it perfectly. Okay. That's it. I'm going to get this back in the oven. You guys stay tuned for our coffee cake right here on Season with Love. When I bring this out, I'm going to slice it up and let you guys see what it's looking like. All right, you guys. This is my final product of my coffee cake. Y'all see my husband has taken a piece. Y'all know my husband. The problem is my husband, he likes his cakes when it's fresh, hot, and warm right out of the oven. And I like to let the cakes cool before I bring you guys my final product. So, this is my final product of my coffee cake. Let me serve some up for y'all and show y'all what it's looking like. All right, guys, this is my final product of my coffee cake. Y'all check it out. I'm serving this with some sliced apples, nice cup of coffee for breakfast this morning. You no, know? y'all, y'all like what I'm doing in these videos? Give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to Season with Love, y'all. 
And y'all know I'm going to hit y'all with some pics at the end of this video. So y'all stay tuned. God bless. And thanks for watching.